some English muffins this morning. I have those brioche style English muffins. We still haven't tried those yet, so we're going to try them this morning with some sausage and eggs. I also have the blueberry bagels with cream cheese for anybody who doesn't want a muffin. I started to just make the Great Value sausage patties, you know, the frozen ones. But Tyler and Jake really like the, you know, fresh made sausage patties instead of the frozen. So I'm just going to make these real quick. One thing I do love about the time change is it gets daylight earlier in the mornings. I was not enjoying those dark mornings. It kept me sleepy. Here are the muffins. I've never had brioche style muffins before, but I love English muffins. So I think these will be good. Let's see. Do I want to go ahead and start the eggs? Let me flip the sausage. A lot of y'all ask about the turkey eggs, so I'm going to show y'all real quick. We tasted them already, and they taste just like chicken eggs. The only difference is they are harder to crack than a chicken egg. So here's the turkey one. Okay, there we go. A little shell got in there. That's okay. I'll get that out in a minute. See, if you didn't know which one was the turkey egg, you wouldn't know it was a turkey egg. Fixing that chair for me. Did you get it fixed? Yeah. Thanks. I like them. Kitchen is clean, coffee is ready. I actually made this coffee earlier, so I had to heat it up. Why is there toilet paper sitting on the desk? <laughs> Brand new roll, I don't know. And also, Titus's little mint, I can't remember what he had. Lemon and mint water or lemon and mint tea? Looks like tea. So after I made breakfast, I ate a quick little sausage muffin. I just had sausage. I was gonna do the cream cheese and blackberry preserves, but that sausage was smelling so good. So I just did like just plain sausage on the muffin. And those brioche style muffins were great, y'all. While everybody else was finishing up eating, I organized this cabinet down here really quickly and this one over here. I knew these wouldn't take very long, so I put a little challenge on myself to see if I could straighten them up before everybody finished eating and I almost made it. So I put all the round cake pans and pie plates and stuff there. Put my Christmas one on top, y'all see that? Baking spirits bright. And up here I have baking sheets and you know, cake pans, there's a square cake pan there. Over here, muffin tins and then this casserole dish, I just put it there cause that one's getting too tall over there. Down here is my cheese grater and accessories. I use that a lot, so I put it in the front right here. Could probably get a little thing to sit these in or at least stand them up a little better here. There we go. Uh, back there, oh, that's just some serving trays and stuff back there. And then over here, up here I just have like extra storage containers and all my silicone baking things. Pumpkin one, hot cocoa bombs, donuts, donuts, and then there's a couple of baking dishes under there too. Loaf pans and the little mini pie molds that we got from Aldi. And then down here, I just have my cold brew maker, some extra pans there, my bunt pan, more serving trays, an extra egg holder, my little Christmas tree mold thing, something that Titus uses for the grill. A sticker is stuck right there. I have to get that off. A little mini, two little mini loaf pans. So all I have left now is that one, the double door cabinet there. It's the flour, sugar, all the spices cabinet. And it's not too bad. It just needs to be 
wiped out and just a quick reorganization deal on that. So yeah, just those two left and we are ready for all the holiday baking that is about to begin. I have to eat my coffee up again because when I added the creamer in, it cooled it down. Everybody's getting ready and once I get them started on their schoolwork, I'm working on bathrooms today. Cleaning bathrooms, organizing bathrooms, changing shower curtains. Mr. Man's ready. He's already got one of his dinosaurs out over here. Hmm, is this a T-Rex? Yep. It's a kindness. A Spinosaurus. Brunswick stew about to go down. This is our own recipe. Olive oil going in the pot. Are you gonna need all that onion? Don't mind him over here, y'all. He's making himself some more of those beets. I love them. Okay, so in my pot over here with the Brunswick stew, I have a little bit of olive oil and I just put in that chopped onion. Instead of cooking up any potatoes, I am gonna be using some southern hash browns in here. Just a few, probably about a cup. Oh, potatoes go in this one? Yeah, a little bit of potatoes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Now we're just going to let these start cooking down. I've got tea making back here. We're using the pulled pork and the pulled chicken that we got from Aldi. And this is rotisserie style pulled pork. Mm -hmm. hmm. I read that as I was coming out of the store. Yeah. Titus went back and got one more. He was like, I think we need one more. So actually he said we need two more, but he just came back with one more. Y'all, let me tell you something. Our whole town is loving that Aldi. Oh, there. yes. We've been excited, I'm telling y'all. How busy was it? Everybody. I mean, there was people, retired people, a lot of retired people. And they was just all just coming in smiling. And I was like, when I was coming out with no bags, had my groceries walking out, I was like, everybody's excited about getting in here bagging their own groceries. <laughs> I didn't have no bags with me, so I had to tote mine. They do have the set. You know, you I'm could have bought one of them paper bags down there. I can't remember how much they are. Some sort of sense. That's really good. Is it? And y'all... When he said that he was going back to Aldi to get some of that pulled pork. She made me get a gingerbread. <laughs> I told house. him. Those gingerbread that, houses. Huh? I'll go get it. <laughs> well, there you go. The reason that I love this one is look over here. Y'all y'all know the little trees like this? You get the tree attached to the gingerbread house. Look at it. See that? Ain't that Got a little nice. snowman. I figured they'd be sold out of the brown one, but they still had it. I'm excited. There you go. I'm going to put a little bit of butter in here. Everybody, I know I talk to you about this a lot, and I'm gonna go ahead and say it again. Who ate all the bagels in one day? Who ate all the bagels, y'all? That's what I've been wanting to ask y'all. Who in the world is doing that? Brundrick stew recipe, we're bringing it to you. Okay, here we go. A cup and a half of ketchup. frozen corn. Everybody, as you can see, Two packs is all you really need. <laughs> I tell you. This has already made a whole pot right here. I was trying to tell him. I'm gonna turn this down to low. We need just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, just a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. Okay, I put a little bit more ketchup in there, about half a cup more. Now about a half a cup of chicken broth. And we're gonna put fourth of a cup to a half a cup of white vinegar. He did something last night, y'all. He's Everybody, excited. You can kind of see right here, it's kind of dark right here. I've been walking right here about this time of day and found not know where I'm at. <laughs> and I'll be like, baby, I'm right here. <laughs> Simple fix, we're in the shade right here in these mountains. 
So here's the deal. All you gotta do, everybody, is go to Walmart and you'll fix that little problem. Man, if you're walking around the house and your wife can't see you because you just, you know, you're in a shadow or something, whatever the case may be, let me show you. Now, how you like that? All over the house. Hello, three came in a pack. For $15, I think yeah, it was. Yeah, and that did that. Fancy, right? <laughs> Walmart special. These cups that I showed y'all the other day that I got from Ingles, I think they're $1.99. Anyway, you know the reindeer ones had antlers coming out of Oh, they nose. got reindeer on them? Well, this one has a snowman. Snowman. They have reindeer, but the antlers huh. are coming out the nose. Let me just, he hadn't seen this. I got to show you. I didn't even know what it was. Well, that's weird. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, that is crazy right there, Mama. Who did that? I don't know. That's nonsense. Manly needs a lid on his, but they don't come with lids. But the large sized cups, I just washed this one, the large cups from Dunkin' Donuts, those lids, and probably just about any large lid from a fast food place or restaurant or something. We'll snap right on the top. Right on the top. Perfect fit. It's a perfect fit. Well, I'll tell you what, I You're hate welcome. to see a buck get in a fight like that right there. Somebody's nose would be messed up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Mama? Yeah. You want to taste this? I don't see what it tastes like, buddy. Anytime somebody comes over you, looking over your shoulder. You know what they want. Putting their nose in action. one bowl of stew. He's going back for his second. Let me show y'all something what you want to do with your bread right here, everybody. Just a little bit of honey on it like this right here. I said to myself, I gotta get to a professional and see what they can do for me.